So here's what I'm going to leave with you. Tomorrow I'm going to introduce legislation that says the following. As long as the Palestinian Authority has laws on the books that reward Palestinian kids for killing Israeli citizens, we're going to suspend the money we send you. Now, and I'm going to need your help here. There are literally statutes on the Palestinian books that reward a Palestinian who's imprisoned in Israel for an act of terrorism. The longer you stay in jail, the more money you get. And from zero to two years in Israeli prison, you come out as a lieutenant in the, uh, the uh, Palestinian security forces. If you stay 20 to 25 years, you come out as a major general. I was in the Air Force 33 years. I, all I could do was make colonel. So the bottom line is that the Palestinians have ingrained in their law state-sponsored terrorism. They're literally telling young Palestinians, if you go to jail in Israel because you did something really bad, the worse you did and the longer you stay, the more your family gets. Then there's the martyr part of it. You need to check this out, Amy. They've got a whole statutory regulatory scheme about how you pay families of the martyrs. So you had this young man, Matt Forrest, that was killed in Israel visiting. West Point graduates, not Jewish, just visiting Israel. I do it all the time. Bottom line is he was killed by a Palestinian. Other people were stabbed, but he's the only one that died. His parents live in South Carolina. What am I supposed to say to his parents? The man that killed him was received in uh, Ramallah as a state hero, given basically a state funeral, celebrated his death, and they had a wedding commensurate with the funeral because he's going to paradise and receive 72 virgins. This is all over Palestinian TV. Palestinian officials coming by to thank the family. That is ass backwards.